Hey guys, it's Jennifer Dawn Caviola, and I wanted to share a video about, I titled this, Why You Plan. Um, this is about the uh, I Am game that I had started sharing um, last week. Um, it was actually a divine download to help you you know, as 2020 approaches, I really was praying about like how I can help serve and support our Quiet Voice Big Impact community because uh, having I've been having a lot of conversations in our group about like what they're feeling, what everyone's feeling for 2020 and um, what their word of the year is. And uh, it's been cool hearing everyone's thoughts on the inspired word for the new year and so um what i'm looking to support help everyone with is uh to help everyone really tune in tune in to this feeling of what the new year could bring for you and when i was praying about like how to help i got this divine download to help everyone um not only tune into the word but also share an affirmation um it's actually my i am poem to help you really remember how powerful and significant um you are and that you are literally the creator of your life right and not to forget that right so so that was the reason why i felt like moved to share this so um I, another common theme that i i did want to mention that um why why were people like leaning towards certain words because there was a common theme about people feeling like they were tired of holding themselves back and playing small and um just really tired of maybe thinking about the same excuses of what what's holding them back and so again that's the reason why i felt moved to really you know ask for guidance like how i could build that serve our our community. So, um, so that's the reason why I I titled this live "Why You Plan" because on one level it's like this is a game. You know, I really want you to feel inspired and um, curious to feel curious about the new year. You know, because um, again, I found whenever I choose to have a a higher goal it's it's easier instead of trying to figure out the how it's really about allowing yourself to feel into what is the next step and so really reframing this process of like instead of new year new year's resolutions and trying to figure things out it's more like hey like how can i allow myself to lean into this process how can i feel my way into it and um hi paula thanks for joining me and uh the other part of this like why i felt moved to call this title uh, title this live why you playing is because we also have to hold ourselves lovingly accountable like really you know if you're tired of holding yourself back if you're tired of playing small if you're tired of like you know the same excuses of why you choose to let's say procrastinate or overthink or worry and then not move on your goals at some point there is going to come to a point where it's it's you're, you're going to have to decide, you know, one way or the other. It's OK. You can still like accept yourself and love yourself either way. Right. But what I really want to encourage you to do in the new year for 2020 is it's a whole new decade. So allow yourself to see or feel into a new version of yourself and be curious and be loving and be kind and compassionate of yourself. and Again, I'm not asking you to overnight change, but slowly take micro steps and lean into the direction that you want. Like whatever your word of the year is, like whatever that feels, whatever word feels really inspiring and uplifting and expansive for you, like lean into that. Lean into that because that, okay, goosebumps, because that is how you are being a conscious creator of your life. You're, you're going to move into that direction and then allow life God, the universe, whatever you believe in to help co-create with you, right? And I find that as an introvert, this is how you tap into your natural resources. This is how you allow yourself to really 
uh, leverage what you're naturally good at, your strengths. You're very intuitive. You're very deep. You have a rich inner world. So I feel like this is a perfect time for you to access that power and like use it and lean into this new direction and this new vision for yourself. And that's the reason why I wanted to share my ion poem because now more than ever this you know i wrote this poem like t over 10 years ago and it's almost like a full circle moment for me that this poem really resonates with me on a on such a deep and spiritual level even more now it's i'll read it to you so um you can really feel the, the power of the words and that's the whole thing about this game is like i wanted to share my poem with you in a graphic, it's like a, a wallpaper graphic, you can save it to your phone or your desktop, or you can listen to it on the audio um, SoundCloud recording that I shared in my previous post, or you can even rewatch this replay. But I really want to encourage you to recite this poem for you, say it out loud, speak these words into existence, because that's really the power of what you hold inside. So whatever has happened in this past decade, okay, like let that go. You've done the best that you can. This, the past decade for me has been all, so much about like letting go, shedding light on things that were hard to face, but letting go, like let, give yourself grace and, and just forgive yourself and know that you are doing the best that you can. And then as you look forward into the next decade, allow yourselves to like, again, imagine what it would be like if your life was lighter and more fruitful and more prosperous and more loving and more supportive like everything that you genuinely want for yourself, but you don't really know how, just allow yourself to lean into that direction, right? So I'm gonna read my poem to you. So I really hope this resonates with you and that you really take it to heart. And that with this game, basically, I want you each day is to really tune into your word, get really still. You know, as, a, as an introvert, you need regular quiet time. So in your quiet time in the mornings, get still and really feel into your word. And then to help reinforce that feeling, I want you to read this poem out loud to yourself or listen to it again on audio, but really feel the significance of the words for you, right? Really feel these words. So I'm gonna read it to you so hopefully you can um, resonate with it, but I really encourage you to really um, take some time to really feel what these words mean for you because in essence, with, I really feel like why God created this poem through me is to help remind me personally and to remind all the people that I'm meant to reach just how powerful, to remember how powerful of a co-creator we are and that we are responsible. We have the power to create our lives each and every day. Okay, so here is my I am poem. I am flourishing. I am thriving. I am advancing. I'm sorry. Sorry, one more time. I am, I'm flourishing, I'm thriving, I am expanding, I am advancing, I am. I am here, nor there, I am everywhere, pervading, sustaining, my thoughts formulating into an infinite state of my own creating. I had performance anxiety. <laughs> early morning. I normally don't do lives in the morning, but I have uh, my mastermind calls um, soon, and I thought it would be best for me to do this video before my call, so I had a, a lot more energy. So I hope my words uh, resonate with you. Um, take some time, watch this replay. Um, again, there's a previous post where I uh, it's a graphic, it's red, and you'll, you'll see my I am poem. Um, I designed it so it's like in a triangle. So definitely look, look at that. Say, again, save it to your, take a screenshot, save it to your phone, save it to your desktop. Um, or if you prefer audio, there's a, a version where it's a SoundCloud. You can just listen to that every day. Um, or, hey, watch this video, you know. Uh, but really, I really encourage you that what's coming through me lately, I'm getting goosebumps again, is to remember. We have to remember who we are. We have to remember, regardless of what has gone down in the past decade or entire life up to this point, really, we can't keep holding on to these old versions of ourselves. 
especially if we're trying to like low key what I've realized in my like old conditioning is like in a way holding back love and support for myself because of past mistakes, almost like a sort of like punishment, you know? And I just feel like that heavy weight and burden, I just feel like it's just not, for me, it's not serving me and it's not going to continue serving me in the future. So the future, how we can best create the future is, in our present moment now so that's the reason why i wanted to share this with you today and that you see this process as a game see your life as a fun game be curious this is not a high pressure oh my god i have to make this work sure you could but that's not fun and that doesn't feel light and that doesn't feel natural so if you if there's a natural if you think of life more of like there's a natural flow, there's a natural current already happening and you move in that direction, you allow, you allow yourself to receive. And that's the whole purpose of this game, right? I want you to allow yourself to receive yourself. Allow yourself to receive my word of the year for 2020 is thrive. Allow myself to thrive. Allow myself to be more loved, supported, r receive more prosperity, receive more success. Whatever the word is for you, like feel into that word again. Recite my I am poem, feel those words, and just remember, be present and remember that regardless of what's happened in your past, your power is in the present moment. And everything that you focus on in the present moment has a direct effect on your tomorrow, on your future. So that's it. I just wanted to share. Um, this message again um if you want to see all the details for this game um just check out my previous poem the image that you'll see it's red there's a triangle with the i am my i am poem there and um yeah i really hope this is helpful for you let's see paula says i love your poem oh i'm so glad that my poem resonates with you paula i'm really happy um it's easy to forget remembering is super important yeah i feel like remembering is the key really because sometimes we get so caught up with life and our day-to-day -day responsibilities and i don't know i just feel like for me i'm learning that letting go of like what your ego says about you i feel like is really the key and then allowing your your spirit which is not judgmental, is very accepting and very loving, like allowing your spirit to take the lead. I'm learning that as far as the past decade, I've recognized that I, I achieved so much in my life through my ego. And on one level, that's cool. Another level, things kind of felt hard. And I feel like moving into this second half of my life, I feel like if I could achieve all of that by pushing and forcing and willing my way to happen, what else could I achieve when my spirit is leading, when I can actually like accept myself more fully? And with this higher level of, of awareness, what else could I achieve? And I really feel like taking that stance and being more allowing of co-creating with for me it's god i i know like how else can i not but thrive <clears throat> knowing that i'm letting go of the heaviness and the weight the burden you know for me thrive <clears throat> is about success right sure more money more clients health wealth support love all of that the thrive also feels like this stance of like looking at life from a place of fullness, right? So I'm personally letting go of this sort of withholding, like I have to prove my worth. That that old um, perception, um, my relationship with myself, and more of this allowing, like, okay, I'm already worthy. So if I'm already worthy and God loves me and I'm learning to love myself on a deeper level. How can I not thrive? How? You know, and so I, again, I'm putting less pressure on me figuring it out and more of allowing this 
process to unfold and discovering and being curious on, on what is meant to be in this next season. So I hope, I don't want this video to be too, to be too long, but I did want to come on here and share um, this process and really encourage you between now and the end of the, and the, end of the year, um, or even into 2020, take some time and allow yourself to play, play this game for you. You know, tune into your word of the year, um, recite my I am poem or listen to my I am poem and share your wins in our quiet voice, big impact community. I really want to um, help celebrate you um, in our group and recognize like there are so many blessings in our life, but we have to continue to stay in a state of gratitude and, and, and notice these uh, blessings and so we can attract more into our lives. Okay, um, Paula says, thank you, gotta go, gotta work. Um, <clears throat> we'll catch the rest later. Oh good, I'm glad that you feel me. So, okay, I don't want the video to be too long, but I will talk to you soon and I'm looking forward to seeing what you share. Bye guys. <laughs>